Hello everyone, welcome back to your Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of all the food options that I had on my flight from Montreal to Doha on business class for Qatar Airlines and this is on their 777-300. Um, they are Q Suites, it is an older model but I still really enjoyed it. Um, I have a full review of the wines uh, under my Trophy Wine Hunter YouTube channel and then also of the plane uh, under my Trophy Travel Experiences YouTube channel. So you can check those out but this is just to do with the food. Um, aboard and it's plentiful I'm going through the options that I went through but the, there's a huge menu on this so they start off uh, initially uh, with a choice of beverages um, and a little bit unique for Qatar Airways is that they have this uh, lemon mint drink which is very signature and so I chose that and it's delicious so I'm starting off the night here in Qatar Q Suisse with a glass of their rosé champagne so they serve off with nuts first. I'm starting with the Duval Liwa Rosé Prestige Premier Cru. Let's try it out. Nice, good acidity, uh, good freshness. I'm actually just enjoying it. A little bit of residual uh, Greek fruit, uh, but a lot of red fruit. Um, but really nice champagne to start off with the meal. Once uh, they get take off and they're in the air, um, I started with a welcome drink and the drink I chose was the uh, Duval de Bois uh, Rosé. Um, it is just a non-vintage rosé, but I have another video on my other channel, Trophy Wine Hunter, which goes through all the wines in detail. But in general, for beginners, uh, if you're given a choice normally between a regular champagne and rosé, I normally would take the rosé, all factors being the same. Generally speaking, it's a uh, more expensive champagne, a rosé compared to a non-vintage uh, regular champagne. So You'll see that uh, with the champagne, they give you a nice bowl of uh, warm nuts. And that's fairly standard in most business class for most airlines. So, um, you know, just uh, nothing particularly special about um, that type of service or the nuts. A little while later, they come around with a tablecloth. They um, put that over your table and they come with the, the regular dinner service. So we start off with, um, they ask you, ask you with a number of choices in terms of what you like, olive oil, vanilla, and vinegar. Um, I think they have a couple other spreads. And then um, butter and a couple, a uh, nice um, uh, basket of bread and all that bread is warm. This is the um, olive oil and vinegar set that they give you. And a couple of things to mention. One, the light that you see on the table, that's not a real candle, a uh, modified candle with a light inside that looks like a candle. So that's kind of a nice touch. Second, second thing is the um, towel that they give you, the towelette to wipe your hands at the beginning of the meal. It's quite thick and it's, it's not um, kind of uh, the normal version you get at restaurants where you, you know, after you've eaten the lobster, you get a little um, the kind of a, just a handy wipe. Um, this is quite a thick material, so quite nice. They start you off with a mousse bouche. I'm not sure, I can't recall if they do that in other airlines, but um, this is kind of a nice starter. It's actually quite nice. Um, smoked salmon type of parfait and uh, quite delicious, in fact, I thought. And a nice surprise. It's kind of like a high-end restaurant where they give you a complimentary mousse bouche. So I know you're not paying for the meal, but it's kind of that type of experience. Back to the bread service. You'll notice that there are three types of bread. It's all hot. Um, I enjoyed it and I had plenty of food. Again, um, when I see other YouTubers and eating all this stuff, I don't know how they eat that much food because uh, it seems like a lot of food, um, even just eating the regular things. And in fact, I had to pass on some of the courses because I was so full. Now I'm heading to my second course with here. So it's the, I've chosen the lobster tail with cauliflower mousseline heirloom carrots, asparagus, asparagus, and basil oil. Looks spectacular. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks wonderful. I'll show a picture of that. Didn't like their, um, the uh, Penfolds Chardonnay. I didn't like Sauvignon Blanc, but I did like their Mirabeau 
It's a Provence 2022 wine. It's a blend. It's a Grenache and Syrah dominant with some Cinso, seven, Cabernet Sauvignon, Tarragon, and Grenache blend. But um, and I also had them serve the Costa Mori, which I think is the fifth growth from Saint Estève. Uh, now, uh, with so that I could just have it air out quite a while. Cheers. So a short video of my starter, which is, I called it the second course was actually the first course. Um, the lobster tail with cauliflower and mousseline with heirloom carrots, green asparagus, and basil. So if you look at it, it looks actually very impressive. I thought the taste was good. You know, I would not uh, be surprised if you saw, found this dish at any really high-end restaurant. I thought it was really well plated, that the taste was good, and um, very nice dish. I chose to pair it with the Mirabeau X Rosé, which is uh, from the um, Côte de Provence region in France. Again, a more detailed explanation will be on my other channel, Trophy Wine Hunter. Uh, but uh, they had a really nice selection of wines. One thing I'll say is that I think with the wine selection, it was better than most business classes of other airlines. And um, you know they were able to get the wines to me at the right times so I actually had four different wines um, each paired with each different course and they were able to get them to me at the correct time so um, I thought the staffing level was actually very high um, I just seemed like there was a lot of stewardesses and um, other support staff there and so um, it was really good um, it was I could count probably four people that served me uh, my meal and so um, it was like a high-end restaurant right, this is my main course this is the lobster thermidor uh, Canadian lobster made with lime um, really looks good uh, having it with the cost of glory and I'm really happy that they changed this and I got this point uh, I think it's a fifth growth from St. Steph uh, but really happy to enjoy it Main course I had was the Canadian Lobster Thermidor with Lime with roasted cherry tomatoes and saffron del risotto. I thought it was an excellent dish. I've seen other videos where people have said it wasn't um, good or it was kind of tasted like microwave food. I thought it was excellent actually. I thought the design was nice. The thing on the left there, that's the lime. I thought it was actually an olive at first, so that's my mistake. But I thought the um, risotto was excellent and I thought the quality of the lobster thermidor was good. And lots of lobster meat in there. So no complaints about this at all. I paired the lobster with the 2015 Cost Labori. Again, I was going to a more detailed um, review of the wine on my other YouTube channel, Trophy Wine Hunter. But just to let you know, this is a fifth growth um, Bordeaux wine from the San Estef region. Um, in normal price in BC liquor stores right now for 2020 would be $80. So this is like a $150 plus dollar wine, which is a really good wine. I was really happy because on other videos, people had said that um, <clears throat> the wine they were serving was Sarge de Grotte de Rose, which is a much inferior wine, second wine of a second growth wine, and probably about an $80 wine. So um, 2015 is a great vintage also, so, um, you know, for those who are don't drinking, are not really big drinkers, at least you know that there's a big quality of wine and um, that even people that are really uh, experienced drinkers would be very happy with this wine. I was also very happy that they uh, brought this to me during the appetizer as requested because I wanted the wine to air out. 2015 is a great vintage, um, so I like that very much and the whole service standard was very high. Finishing off the night with a Mont Blanc Sunday and the Cratcher 2020 uh, sweet wine. What a wonderful pairing, wonderful meal. Cheers. For dessert, I had the Mont Blanc Sunday, which was vanilla ice cream, caramelized chestnut, and amaretto cherry. Probably that was a mistake. Um, with ice cream, it kind of does melt pretty quickly. I probably should have had the gooey chocolate fondant. Nevertheless, that's not their fault. It was actually quite nice. Um, and then I had a wine with that, which I will um, also uh, 
show you on the next photo. One thing is that you do need to be fairly clear. I did not get the cheese plate. Um, I thought I was going to get it included, but I did not, they did not bring it to me. I think they thought I was just going to have the dessert. That was okay. I was still pretty full. But if you do want something in particular, just make it clear. Oh, I do want the cheese plate. I do want the dessert. Um, uh, but again, it's lots of food. Um, and, um, it's yeah, you, it's also dine on demand, so you can always have that. They're also very good about it if you want an extra, um, you know, appetizer or main course. If there's availability, they'll try and accommodate you also. For the wine pairing, I had the Kratcher 2020 um, sweet wine from the Austria region. Again, this is a very specialized wine, and again, as a kind of wine uh, lover. Um, these are really high-end wines, um, not necessarily that they're really, really expensive, but they are um, very good uh, wines. They're you know not cheap wines. And likewise, these are well-selected, good vintages, which are important, and also very interesting um, sought-after wines. So this is a Kratcher, is a very, very sought-after wine. Um, not many people know this wine, uh, but as a wine... Ex, uh, wine experts or wine connoisseurs would really appreciate this so a uh, very nice wine and again if you want a full review of the tasting notes of this wine you can go to my other page uh, trophy wine hunter which has a full review of the wines in more detail i woke up after a couple hours sleep and like many business class they always have some snacks but these are fairly substantial and quite nice you can also have the um another meal uh, if you wanted to, I didn't think about that, but we probably could have done that also um, if there is extra meals available. So I had the gourmet chicken hot dog with roasted herb potato wedges, Dijon mustard, pickled red onion, tomato, relish, and fried kalo. Um, I thought it was great, actually. I thought it was quite a substantial um, light meal or snack, uh, probably better than I've seen in most business class things. They usually have a pot pie or something like that, so it's quite... Uh, ordinary but this one the selections was good the other selection they had were like shrimp and grits um and a nikoas fat salad so these are quite high-end um snacks now we go to breakfast which is served about two hours before you land and again i have a starter i started with the asiat of cold cuts and cheeses you have smoked salmon cheddar cheese pumpernickel and egg mimosa so um quite a nice plate of food again very well presented i think the quality was quite good um, you know, if you serve this to me on the ground rather than an airplane, I don't think I would be disappointed. So quite a good quality. The main courses really thrilled me that much, but I decided on the blueberry bagel, which is sweetened cream cheese, toasted pecans, and fresh uh, blueberries. So actually it was quite nice. Um, and the sauce was quite nice, the kind of raspberry sauce on the side. So I thought that was actually better than what I thought, um, but it was very filling with the cream cheese. Sharp video of the blueberry bagel, and then um, they serve you a chai latte and also an energizing drink. I'll mention that they have lots of mocktails that are interesting and a lot of cocktails that are interesting. So lots of variety, and then the end at the end of the meal with some chocolates. Um, these are videos on the show menu. We can slow this down if you want to see the different choices. I'll probably put pictures of all the menus in the community section. Um, just in case people want to know. But the menus change fairly frequently. There's lots of great choices. The other thing I'll mention is that you can pre-book meals 14 days uh, prior and also up to 24 hours before your flight. I would strongly recommend doing that just because you can get your choice. And there are actually some choices that are on the pre-book or pre-meal order that may not be on the in-flight menu because the in-flight menu does change quite often. So all in all, I thought service standard was very high um just like at a regular high-end restaurant uh, on the ground um, the quality of the food was good presentation was good so everything was i think the best product out there um, in terms of business product i have been on singapore airlines and i'll put that review at the end of this video i didn't think it was as strong but that was a very short flight the other comparable would be probably emirates um, i don't have a video on that but i can tell you i thought this the food service was a little bit better on um, Qatar Airlines and the quality of everything was a little bit better. Um, and then the other comparable was ANA Airlines, which also was very good. But um, again, I would give the nod to uh, Qatar Airlines. 
in terms of the quality of the food. I'll just mention if you want to have a um, kind of a full review of the actual cabin and the business class experience, you can go to my other YouTube channel, uh, Trophy Travel Experiences. And likewise, if you want to know more detailed, in-depth um, information about each of the wines and why I chose which wines I, I chose to drink, you can go to my other YouTube channel, Trophy Wine Hunter. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy eating.